Hello, Bia France. Hello, Bia France. Nani no loin. Kage di You can't use lies and deceit to get Biafra. We can't use lies and deceit to get Biafrans. Biafran struggle has taken a lot of life. Biafran struggle has taken life of more than 10 million people. You cannot use lies to restore Biafra. You can't use lies to restore Biafra. All these people who is calling people to come and testify against Simon Eba. I am calling on you people to retrace your, your step. You can't use lies to restore Biafra. Freedom fighting is not all about lies. Stop recruiting people to testify against innocent man. The life of Simon Eba is transparent in this struggle. We can't keep quiet any longer. If you are genuine in this Biafra struggle, it is time to, for you to come out and testify what you know. God told the land of... He told Noah, if I found one person genuine, I will save the land. He found them Nam Kano in Biafra land. And we all know that Nam Kano is genuine. We took oath to defend him. Now, we have come again to testify that a lot of people has been bearing false witness against Simon Eba. And we have come to do our job once again the way we did it in the time of Nam Kano. Today, Nandekano has been vindicated. Nobody is pushing, is pointing and accusing finger on Nandekano any longer. We are the messengers in Biafra struggle. We are not interested in power. We are not interested in your money. We are interested to make history straight. Stop, stop calling people to come and attack Simon Eba. Attacking Simon Eba is not the reason why we come to fight for Biafra. We come to fight for Biafra just for us, for our children to be free. Bearing false witnesses cannot help this struggle. If you are genuine in this struggle, if you are genuine in this struggle, it is time for us to come out and testify to have another second person in Biafra struggle. If you are there when Nigerian government paid Simon Eba to work against Nigerian Biafra struggle, come and show us any evidence. If you are there when they paid him, all these divorce witnesses you people are doing, it will not help this struggle. We are messengers. We are messengers. We can't keep quiet any longer. We can't keep quiet any longer. We are dying in agony. We are dying in agony. We've been keeping quiet for more than eight months now, trying to figure out how to keep this record straight in order for us to help our people. It is no more. We can't go on keeping quiet. The accusation is too much. The accusation is too much. I am telling you people, stop this accusation. Stop it. Stop these accusations. You can't go on pointing unverified accusation against someone you don't have any evidence against. If you have evidence, tell us. Show us the evidence. He want to hijack. He want to hijack. Do you know the exercise of Simon Eba? God arrested Simon Eba in Germany. God arrested Simon Eba in Germany the day of Ekwere Madu beat up. 
the day they beat for the model in Germany. That was the day God arrested Simon Eber. As at the day when Simon Eber was in the New Year Festival. The New Year Festival, the same kind of festival which Jesus Christ celebrated in Cana when he made wine to become water. That was the day Simon Eber was arrested. He was supporting one Nigeria and he made it open. He confessed to the whole world up to he confessed to Mazen Namdekano. He was supporting one Nigeria just like one Namdekano was supporting one Nigeria. But God arrested him. Simon Eber came online after Ephraim Madu beat up and become a repented man. He said he has been against, against Namdekano. If you don't know history, if you don't know how to couple history, try to keep your mouth shut. If you don't have any evidence to accuse someone, if you don't have any evidence to point finger on someone, don't do that. It's not good. All of you who is telling me that thunder will fire my generation, I am trying to tell anybody that will send thunder here. I will tell you how thunder fires. I will tell you how my generation started. My generation started from Ari. My generation started in Ari, down to my father's land. And if you send thunder to fire my generation, that thunder will start in the kingdom of Ari. That thunder will first of all strike in Ari, killing all the elders before me. Down to the newborn baby that we born to this very moment. And that is how my generation will be eliminated. If you try to send the thunder here, I will tell you that we are loaded. God prepared us before we come to this struggle. Anybody that will tell me thunder fired your generation, I will tell you that history made us to understand that Idi Igbo people started from Eri through God. The son of Jacob, Isaac, and Abraham. And that is how the generation started. All that thunder will then start from Israel. Starting from the tomb of Abraham and begin to strike. As the third world war now is about to start. I am not telling you, I am a messenger of God. A messenger of truth. I cannot support evil. I can't wait you and what to see you every time pointing on verified accusation against an innocent man. We are prepared. We are purified before we come to this struggle. And because we stand to say the truth, that was why they chased us away from Catalonia meeting. That was why, because we stand for truth. They don't allow us to speak the truth. Even when you ask them, what evidence do you have against Simon? They have nothing to prove. And they tell us to shut up. You don't shut us up. You can't shut us up. You understand? Anybody that will write thunder, that thunder, I will tell you where that thunder will start from. It's either that thunder starts from Abraham Buzon, the, the tomb of Abraham in, 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 in Jerusalem. Or that thunder will start in Ari. And that thunder will then start killing all the elders that knows the history of Biafra, that knows the history of Igbo land. They refuse to say it down to my own age because our own age have come to change the history. Our own age have come to change the history. You can't go on. If you don't know history, you should know how to keep quiet. If you don't know how to run history, you should know how to keep quiet and learn from those people that is trying to keep the history straight. Don't call me to fight Simon Eba. Don't call me to, si to fight Simon Eba. I see nothing wrong he has done. If you have any evidence against him, show it to the world. Simon Eba. I see nothing wrong he has done. Why should we go on criticizing one another? 
Why should you be calling us to divert all our ammunition against Simon? Why should you come and sit us down and tell us Simon is now our enemy? Our enemies is not Fulani again. Our enemies is not Hope who's on him, man. Our enemies is not Devu Mahi. Our enemies is not Ohanez and Dibo. Our enemies is not Eastern Governors. Our enemies is not Wike. Our enemies now you have tried to transform us. That we should come and defy Simon Eba. Eba now is our enemy and you presented it in the table. Who do such a nonsense? Who can tolerate such a nonsense? Anybody that will send thunder here, I will repeat again. Third World War is about to start and your leader, our leader is in detention using one cloth for over eight months. Going gradually blind and we've been begging them We've been begging them, sending informations to HOD, DOS, Zona Coordinators, and the Street Coordinators. Change this battle. Divert this battle to where it's supposed to go. Don't change our war to go against the same person fighting the same war with us. If you are right anything positive, changing the narratives of yesterday. They send me a letter that I have been, I've been, I've been expelled, I've been suspended because I tried to, to, to direct this thing where it should go. What is happening with you people? We can't go on fighting ourselves. Do you understand? We are messengers. All this thing I'm vomiting out today is an accumulated anger. It is an accumulated anger for over eight months now. Since the extra rendition of Mazin Namdekano, I decided to go back to understand what is really going on. Anybody that knows when I used to come out to, to testify how Namdekano is genuine, Trying to explain to people how they can understand the gospel of Mazen Nandekano. Since the extra rendition of Mazen Nandekano, I never come up again to make video except now. Because accumulated anger, grievances, and everything is inside us burning. We can't keep quiet anymore until we push it out where it should go. If you are genuine in this struggle, Make your own video and declare the evidence you have against Simon or if Simon is genuine in this struggle. You can't call a man above 40 years and tell him, do not listen to this person. But you go on in all Biafran platform, showing us the same man you don't want us to listen to. And when we go back to the to the program to understand and the dialogue and digest everything he is saying. Then you call us and tell us we are under command and control. What kind of command and control that you don't want people to make use of their brain and we are fighting for freedom of speech. Nandekano has fought for freedom, freedom of speech and you don't want us to talk. You don't want us to memorize with our own brain. To understand your own point of view. Why, my, why Namdekano said, give him a slot. If you don't know what it means by giving him a slot, when I will do my next video, I will explain what that slot means. Because Namdekano was in dungeon. He know the person that can be able to carry out this war and this attack and the lead the bullet direct the bullet where it's supposed to go he said give him slot because he know what he can do i am saying out of my own understanding nobody preached to me biafran struggle nobody preached to me i invoked myself in biafran struggle and i try to understand every details in biafran struggle 
I call him Nam the Kano, the Jesus of our time. He is the Jesus of our time. I even, I try to explain to people. I say, even if you want to call on Nam the Kano a criminal, you will understand that they said, Jesus Christ will come back like a criminal. Then I go again, I tell you people, Nostradamus says that a prince will be born from the bottom of the trigger which no man can stop. His army will liberate entire Africa and today Namdekanu is the light of Africa. You see all the kings in the African land, they went there, they think who is in Namdekanu, the light of Africa. People are going on criticizing in Namdekanu, thinking that in Namdekanu will go against Simon Eba. This is impossible. Namdekanu can never go against Simon Eba. Because Simon Eba is serving the purpose of Mazen Namdekanu. If you understand this thing, come and testify. You cannot push all this burden to one person alone. Namdekanu is suffering all this thing. Going gradually blind. And when we say, when we voice out, they sanction us. They tell us don't talk. We are under command and control. Command and control means that you should not talk. Even your own leader is going blind. Your own leader is going blind. You tell me don't talk. What is the purpose of taking oath? I took oath to defend Namdekano for him not to go blind. I took oath to make sure that he is living good. I see him going blind. I published it. And unidentified people will come up and begin to attack. Telling me all sorts of things. Your leader is going blind. And someone said, eh, he can never go blind. But don't you know, when you are using eyeglass lens, prescribed by a doctor, whenever that eyeglass is taken away from you, that eyesight will be dying small, small. Who is telling me that the can is okay? And when we come out, even he send message to his lawyers, tell my followers that he is not in a good condition. Expecting us to go and broadcast and send information across the world for the whole world to know what is happening. Yet, they say we should not talk. Command and control tell you not to talk. Who can tolerate such a thing? Who can tolerate such a thing? All those e rats that is sending me nonsense in comments, try to send it again here now. I, I'm telling you what I can do, and I cannot tell you what I cannot do. I told you people I will come online anytime and tell you what I understand. The last prayer I can ever pray is for God to give me life, because I don't even know where I die and where I live. I never pray for God to give me life. I don't know the meaning of life. All I know, I want to be free. I said, dear man, simple and short. If you don't know what to say, stop fighting those people that even trying to crack their brain. Send this message across to anywhere and make this message get to Simon Eber as well. Make this message go to DOS as well and the HOD. HOD, the one that authorized my sanction. The one that authorized my sanction because I cried out Namdekanu is going blind. Namdekanu is wearing one cloth for over eight months. Let me tell you people, the Guinness Book of Record will register that under the leadership of DOS, under the leadership of DOS, the leader of indigenous people used one cloth for over eight months. And the, all of you who is under the authority now, I am sending this information to you because I know you people are watching, but I have tried and found out you people are watching. Do not try it. Do not try to make your leader 
use one cloth for one year because history is registering everything. I will leave you people here because we can't keep quiet anymore. We can't keep quiet anymore. Share this message across to anywhere you want it. All those people fighting Simon Eber that he went to New Year Festival. New Year Festival was the key point where God arrested Simon Eber. That was the time he was serving one Nigeria. And he came to New Year Festival as God, Jesus celebrated the Cana. God arrested him there. The spirit of Namdekano arrested him there. He is the disciple of Mazen Namdekano. I am now telling you, if you people read the history of Peter, you will know that his Peter is stone. Peter means stone. The most brutal. The most brutal the most deadly among all. Paul is a disciple. After Jesus Christ will have left, he understood the gospel. Then he began to spread it. That is what we are doing. And uh, I will make sure I try to come back again to educate people on things they don't understand. And anybody that will send thunder here again, anybody that will send thunder in my platform again, that thunder is either that thunder start from Abraham bosom or that thunder will start from Eri. And when that thunder strike, it will start from all the kings, all the elders down to my own age. And when I gone, it will eliminate. And that is what we take on oath. If we see anything that we go, uh, that we betray the struggle, may Chuko Kiabiyama eliminate us and the, our generation. And I am here now defending my own oath. If you know that you have ever taken an oath to this struggle, it is time for you to defend it. You cannot defend the oath when you come up and tell me to turn my ammunition against Simon Eba. That is not how I will defend my oath. Because Simon Eba have seen him. Exposing all the evil in Nigeria. Exposing all the evil governors in Nigeria. Exposing all the people in Nigeria. If someone paid in by Simon Eba, you should automatically know that he is automatically working against the person who has contracted him. I stop here. Udo diru no muchineke. Nani no luai kage jiche Nani no loy, kage chicha tai, mbronya kuruno wudu minikona lono kochi. If you are in this struggle, try to know what you comment. Try to know what the history you are leaving behind. Because history is registering. Biafra is a religion. Biafra Bible will soon come out. And all you people are doing is recorded one place. There is something they call disco duro. You know, we are the record information. We are recording everything. Mind what you comment. Because after this now, I will go and read all the comments. Then I will know who comment whatever he comments. There is a very big file. A very big computer where we are recording everything. Everybody is doing. And those people who is contracting people to come and attack someone ever. We don't know. Share this message if you like. We can't keep quiet any longer. If we keep quiet... The truth will die in us.